it's only one way to start. Four oh. defenders that have performed at VVD's level is Rio, John Terry, and Vidic. I mean, how long are we gonna act like this guy's a top <laughs> striker, man? Champions League final. We got to the Champions League final and lost to Liverpool. I'm cool. I've accepted You're that cool moved on. Worst, worst week ever as a Spurs fan. I think the true. most pertinent issue that we can discuss, and I've said that I'm not. That gonna loves a big word. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've said on this podcast. Cool you just that. said Spurs say are cool in that. turmoil. You know you want to say it. Don't let him press it. Welcome back to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. We're live in the flesh, live and direct, direct and effect. You already know what time it is. Very, very special episode today. We're joined by a former Chelsea and West Ham player, West Ham coach, a mentor. If you've been on Graham, you've probably seen him acting like Tony Montana and Whitney Houston. I don't know about all of that, what was going on there. <laughs> Some of you might have seen the mad thing he did on Sock AM, but I don't know what was going on. We're like going to talk about that. <laughs> <or> just... <laughs> I've got, got, got to explain myself. <laughs> we have the one and only Carlton Cole. What's good, bro? What's going on, bro? Well, you good, What's bro? everyone else saying? Everyone blessed? All good. Come on, man. Come, come on, come on. Good. Obviously, there's international weeks, <laughs> so there's no free point collectors, but I think we have to give a unanimous um, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. Yep. For yeah. seven times. Go, 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 go. Real talk. And of course, RIP to Ray Clements as well. Because um, mm -hmm. that's some real stuff. But um, let's get into it, man. What's good? How are you doing? I'm all right, you know. Just um, just getting by. You know what I mean? Just uh, reinventing myself, obviously. After your career, you've got to um, find new things to do. And um, you've got to be comfortable with it as well. Yeah. So yeah, I've just found found my feet now. So I just it's on, I'm just working on building. No, I hear that. Before we actually jumped on, we were talking a bit about England, which got Cam into his usual frantic self about <laughs> Grealish, and and you were interested in that. So let's <laughs> let's talk about England at the moment. I mean, the game during the week was the game, but if yeah. we look at that squad, everyone, I know we've always mm. had skeptical views about Southgate. We've had skeptical views about what the team would be, mm. but where do we think that squad is now? Now that we've got someone like Grealish that Southgate seems to believe in. Do we still think that squad is a good calibre of squad? And maybe based on your own opinion in terms of what you've seen from England squads is like, what do you, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, well, obviously, one thing I would say that I was never a doubter of Grealish. I just wanted him to be a bit more mature. Yeah. Um, and last season, he showed, he showed that maturity. He led the team. Um, when they was in the dumps. If it probably wasn't for him, they wouldn't be up right now. Um, <laughs> say it. Say <laughs> best carry <laughs> job <laughs> in the world. It would be down. Yeah, but Trust it, me. it's true though. Like, you got to look at it like, if he didn't hold that team down, yeah. they'd, they'd definitely be relegated. So you just got you just got to take it for what it is. But then you got, where, where, where he was playing out on the left, wasn't he? Cutting, cutting his side, doing yeah. his thing. And, now, when you're trying to get him into the England team, you got to kind of reach. I was like doubting that he would get in there because you're going to have to kind of restructure um, if he starts. When he starts a game, because all the traffic has to go through him because that's the way he plays. So you've got to build a team for him to be effective. So you because all the traffic's going attacking-wise, it will go through him. But now he's shown that he doesn't ha that doesn't have to happen. He's yeah. shown that he can actually fit into a structure. So that's become, now he's not, because I thought he was actually like um, one of those selfish players. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I've got to be the big boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the ball mm. and I'll do the work and I'll make me look good like how Neymar is. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But he's starting to show that, okay, if that system there, it doesn't actually suit what I have at Villa, but now I can actually go and fit into someone else's system. That shows maturity. Yeah. Do you understand? And there's not a lot of players that has his ability that can actually fit into someone else's plan because everybody must think, oh, he's got so much ability, everything has to go through him. Yeah. Like it's like Wayne Rooney. Every all the traffic was going through Wayne Rooney. Like if he Wayne Rooney doesn't fix. play well, mm. if Wayne Rooney don't play well. We're only talking ballers here, <laughs> today, Wayne. We're only ballers, yeah, but if Wayne Rooney don't play well, it's like the whole country will be like, ah. Oh, uh, we're not. He's not. We're not going to do well this tournament yeah. or blah, blah. Everything was just on his shoulders. It's Why it's a key man? It's yes. Yeah, you shouldn't. I, I'm not a believer of key men. I'm yeah. believer of good players mm. that come in hearts. Key other. men. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To 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 peak. Do you know what I mean? Or do something special. But if your team is solid, and even if that key man comes out, you say it's a key man. But if you say that special talent comes out, your your system still works. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Coaching. Having said all of that though, because Cam, I know you threw out that question there when you were talking about what your team would be. Yeah. And I know that some people are like, yeah, Cam's talking facts. Mm. Other people are like, oh, as usual, Cam's talking shit and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we think that Southgate has the right tools to make this team, which people are calling a golden generation, that, that, that with promising, the generation yeah. promising yeah. and with the talent coming through, do yeah. we think he has the right like ability to get the best out of the team? Because if we're being honest, like the, the World Cup performance, okay, got really far, but there has been question marks for a long time, even with the comments about, oh, um, certain players should be getting 20 goals. Or yeah, yeah. What do we, what's our thoughts on this current team? And whether he is the man that can really make that team work. I think, yeah. That's like, to you as well. When you look at international, the thing about it, like everyone wants, you, you're not going to have the best managers in the world managing internationally. Mm. It, it, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. International managers, there's not, none of them are the best in the world. Yeah. Like at when you think about well, usually Pep's, on the, the tail end of their career, exactly. they might take a role. Yeah. So when you look at Southgate, like the, I was behind Southgate around the World Cup, right? But then since the World Cup, for me, I feel like he's gone quite negative in the way he plays. He plays five at the back. He'll start Eric Dyer. He'll start... I feel like he got a bit negative. And then when you have someone like Grealish who came through, who's coming through, who's a ridiculous player, it's clear to see, ridiculous player, but you have some... I wouldn't say he's got an agenda against it, but I feel like he doesn't like the fact that everyone's saying play him. Mm. So he's kind of trying to push back, like... Nah, like I'm not. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in my own time. Mm. But I still think with the internationally, just really for me, just got us. You probably know better, but you just got to set the team up. In my opinion, mm. tell them go out there, do their thing, rely on the ballers. Yeah. Really, you're not gonna have much time to implement systems and tactics mm. and. A lot of international football, for me, you're going to rely on the players to actually just turn up and perform. Yeah. And I think he just puts his best players out there, then England have a chance. If he does these little things like plays Eric Dyer and Henderson, I like Henderson, but Henderson, and but not play Grealish. And I just think that's just when it gets a bit silly. Play your best players and I think England can go far. I think at centre-back, they've still got issues. I think defensively, England, I think that's the main reason why you lot have always stuck to this. I said, you have got your Dutch. Hey, hold on a minute. He's Dutch, he's Dutch, he's Dutch. He's Dutch. Okay, okay. Dutch. Okay, okay, okay. Dutch. But I've always thought, especially in the World Cup, when he had that success where he got to the semi-finals, he had that with the five at the back. So he's thinking to himself, this is kind of my system, my team's identity. And I think with Grealish, the only thing I don't like about Grealish is how he's kind of boxed him in to say he's his left winger. Mm, and that's mm. all he is. And it's like, no, but he can play a multiple yeah. shooter roles. Yeah, yeah. But do I think England can be successful kind of under Gareth Southgate? That will only be because of, I think, the other international teams. If you they're look at that, Spain, it? Italy, like Boy. aside from France, maybe Germany, it's not really that strong out there. Mm. The talent pool is there. Is he tactically good enough, Gareth? I don't think so, personally. I mean, I think that final hurdle when it gets to a final or a semi final when it's really crunch time, I don't think he's got that in game management, game management either. Yeah. In game that, management, yeah. that is the key word there. 100%. And I don't think, Gareth, we've seen that too much from throughout his time in mm. England where you thought, oh, that kind of that movie everything. done yeah. there. One it's always been either with me, Harry Kane though. dragging through or some oh, kind of mm. individual spark, Sterling, Rashford, whatever. Mm. But, don't get me wrong, like the World Cup run, as much as it was like, vibes like Semi i've never seen anything innit? like that mm. in this country like at yeah. all a lot of it was set piece galore yeah and then yeah, even yeah. the games after when like england were in free and whatnot i've not looked at games where it's like oh my gosh it's amazing play and everything but sometimes i guess we kind of get bogged down in details because like you said if your best players are performing you get results what does it really matter but mm -hmm. if you look at like the really good international teams and when they play you're like oh wow this is um this is really something so mm. i think it's weird like with what you said when he first came through and he was like and, I've, and everyone deemed him as like that almost like young sort of yeah because he coach. played the, he, he brings the man them in yeah, and he's so bringing the man like, them in oh, and he's like okay yeah. cool natural and afterwards almost. it got a bit yeah it got a bit it's literally got a bit still. still it got yeah. a bit still so having said that now he brought in Bellingham now mm. and I saw a lot of and this is probably interesting because you coach young players mm. I saw a lot of mixed reviews in it some people were like Bellingham shouldn't be in there you need mm -hmm. to give people time and everything <laughs> other people were like my personal opinion was I understood it because it was under 21s. Yeah. Someone got injured, you push him up. Yeah. But it's still almost a big thing. Like you're trying to put, you're almost putting a target on this guy's back. Mm. Adding to the top of that, the whole Greenwood Foden situation, I, like, that's when now I'm looking at him I'm like, okay, has he, has he flipped that youth mentality then now? Mm. Like, mm. is it the same thing anymore? And if, if it's not, that's quite telling mm. for yeah. me. Yeah, what, what I would say on that, <clears throat> I support the Bellingham thing because 
I don't mind because the times look it took me how long to get my international cap <laughs> and that was back then the golden era it took me like until I was like 24, 25 like okay. yeah. 20, yeah. 25, 26 yeah. so I'd done into under 21s I was like 19 caps for them and then it was a big gap until I went into Got the, the national team international, it was yeah. hard to get into that school man the, the strikers <laughs> I had in front of me yeah. like it was mad Talent. yeah so I had to have a I had to have a couple of good seasons or three, two good, two good seasons, like before I was even getting looked was, at. You was older seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even before that, I was, mm. I was getting grafting. back. Yeah, I was grafting. So like, now I see all you need to do really is show that you can play mm. and you can fit in and you, 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 you don't look uncomfortable and you've got like, because now what I'd say potential, yeah, is a biggest seller now. Like you don't have to be proven. Like you yeah, just, it's just, it's just a facts. potential now. And then they'll say, do you know what? He'll do a job, put him in. Potentially he could be this person. Yeah. Mm. But back in the day, it was, nah, he's got, give me a, give me a good so, two solid season. Mm. Let's see what you're about. Do you know what I mean? So that's what people are buying now. So people are buy, actually going out there buying potential, not. You look at Kai Havertz. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I said yeah. now, because of the times that we're shot. in, because the times that we're in, it doesn't matter if he goes in and plays in the first team. Yeah, that like, I can't even hate on that. Although mm. I, I should be hating, but it's not, <laughs> it's not my heart. Do you know what I mean? So no, I, I I support it because that's just the times we're in. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like you don't have to do much to get in now, but if you showing that you can do a certain amount and it fits into the system and it fits into what the future holds for you yeah. in this day and age. Then you play him, man. Especially because yeah. that midfield position as well. I don't think anyone's kind of grabbed it by the throat, whether it's Madison, Grealish hasn't really Rice. had the opportunity. Uh, Rice. Mm. Rice is the only one I think who's actually been able to hold yeah. the Didn't position. Didn't he want to try and Phillips? Henderson. Tried Phillips, a bit. Phillips. Tried Phillips for a few games, but it's like, I yeah. don't know if but anyone's Deckers really grabbed that. Rice. I think I mean, Decker's personally, Phillips. I would mm. put, I, I think as a six, yeah. it's just a case of Henderson and then that position next to Henderson, I feel like is up, for, up grabs for grabs at the moment. Yeah. Mm. I think Grealish, for me, instead of trying to, Put him there. Out wide. Yeah. Put him there, play him as a drive 10 him maybe. So he could drive yeah. forward. We spoke about this a year ago. We, we said that he hasn't got yeah. the balls to do it. We, we don't think it. thingy, we don't think like, I, Southgate has clearly just shown that like already like, do you know what? I'm going to put Grealish on the left mm. and the only reason he's in there is because now he's starting to score goals. But when you look at a player like Grealish, yeah. Grealish can, can give you zero goals, zero assists yeah. and be a man of the match. Yeah. But so I don't see why Gareth Southgate would require him to put up Rashford numbers. He's never going to put up Rashford and Sterling yeah. numbers. Mm. So, that kind of confuses me as to why you would do, it's to buy him you know time, I mean? isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> because until Marcus goes down, he's never gonna do that. Yeah. Everyone knows that Marcus and, and Sterling they're not going down, they're never gonna like yeah. get Sancho dropped. There as well. I was about to say, Sancho, Sancho, as well. Sancho's, well, well. Sancho, think, Sancho's t- touch and go for me. Mm. I think he can still drop chance, Sancho. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's he's yeah, not not drop, but um, he's not like got that state, he hasn't got that state, solidified. Yeah, he's not a certain starter. Sterling is. Rashford is at the moment. But do you think Sterling and Rashford are that? I don't think they're. I don't think they're better than Grealish. To be honest, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> I think as football players, they're not better than him. If oh, they, oh, to no. get a goal, yeah. I will put Marcus Rashford and Sterling. Yeah, but like, to, yeah, yeah I, mean? I understand fully yeah. what you're saying there. But yes, as a footballer, mm-hmm. Grealish is is head and shoulders above the like yeah. naturally gifted. Yeah, but then you look at uh, pace. Mm. Yeah, um, shots on target. How much goal threat? Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's where he'll be saying, I'll bank on these lot to get me a goal yeah. rather than having to depend on Grealish to be mad at the match, right? yeah. but not, not, no goal for it. Mm. Sometimes, but he does have goal for it. Don't get me wrong. He does, but he'll make something out of nothing sometimes. But do you want to always depend on that when you've got two firearms just going mm. and trying to get you something? That's where he's just weighing up the options. Yeah. If I look at it from a tactical point of view, I'd rather depend and, and of course, They've got the experience. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But they, yeah. Sterling, they've got the experience. Ain't up so for England like that. So. Tried and tested. He ain't, Sterling ain't turned up for England, so but we'll see. Like, well, 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 the last couple of years he's it's actually been, he's, I he's think been the last good, couple man. of years he's actually he's he's turned turned it, oh, one yeah. or two performances. In that. It's still for me at the at the tournament stage. It's, yeah. it's a different kettle yeah, of fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, you see players who perform week in week out for their clubs. Once they go to the tournament, when they're yeah. running it. shell at, themselves. But look at the World Cup. Yeah. If you know, if if Harry Kane would have squared that mm. ball, yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, he's saying that on his own. We're 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 now. We're 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 no, but I'm not saying it's, <laughs> he's not squared it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad because no, 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 he's a striker. I want my striker to score. Yeah, but but yeah, just having. I think he went for the glory. Yeah, but, and that but, one uh, moment because let me throw this to you. Because now, if you look at him now, he's changed now. You see, see that one experience. Yeah. 
everyone was saying he should have done that. Yeah. He's changed his game, bro. No, but he's hindsight, an assistant, no, 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 hindsight, hindsight, he's been influenced. Beautiful. But at that tournament, yeah, Sterling was having a mare. Let's be honest, he had yeah, he chances was. similar to that. Yeah, where but he was never going to get that. Listen, he had easy chances, yeah, but Kane was actually scoring and top scorer at the tournament. So of course, he's on the bench. 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 Now you're one on one on goal. Yeah. Are you squaring it? Yeah, because yeah. that's my that's my personality. Self, I respect it. I, I, I respect like, it. Look, I have you, to, I have to watch, ask the question. I didn't, that's not my goal I, didn't, I didn't score a bag of goals, bro. Like I did not score a bag of goals, and I was criticised for my goal scorings, mm. but. That that was me because I I I bro I, I used to carry two defenders on my back sometimes yeah bro. and then when I'm getting in the box to try and get in that box bro <laughs> oh, bro it was a myth yeah so when I actually did complete it and I got that one goal bro yeah. I felt like I won the World Cup yeah, yeah. No, I respect that bro it was mad because I've got to take up few players so the other players to occupy can space actually, exactly so that's yeah, how that was my game but. Now, now I wouldn't be able to survive in this era because now it's a stats game, isn't it? No, yeah. You understand? I'm mentions. glad you've. I'm glad they, you they, mentioned. She laughed at me. This is perfect segue. So we continually have this um, thing. Um, quick plug for Cam. Cam has a show called um, "Don't Shoot the Messenger." Yeah. And he actually went in on this whole stats and how if you look at stats on one thing but mm. don't take into context, it looks mad. Yeah. For you now, you just mentioned you won't survive in this era. Do you reckon it was harder to play ball back then than it is now, or why? Why would you not survive personally? I think the defending's gone. The def the defending has gone lower. The standard it's hit the floor. Because so I tell you why. Because you. now we f we focus on playing out from the back. You got to be footballers. So I think what it is, defenders nowadays are like midfielders. Facts. So midfielders, the midfielders Facts. from my era have gone to the to centre back. Yeah. Basically, and um, what it is, they're ballers, but the first thing in their head. Is not to defend. It's to play. It's, it's to, to play, play football. Let's play football. And they don't want to get. Even and then you, they're getting too much. In, they're getting entrapped in that that mentality where they want to. They just want to look good on the ball, mm -hmm. play it out. They're wearing clean. white boots and stuff. Like at, <laughs> oh, bro, that was unheard of when I was growing up. The of my football club wears orange boots. <laughs> no, it's it's bad, crazy. It? Come on, it's man. He's Maguire. He wears orange and boots. Two colors as well. Bro, two tones. Look at the basics. The basics of defending. You took tackling. Yeah. Now you can't even go too hard in on a tackle. Fifty fifties. You can't go in on the shoulder bar. When was the last time you saw fifty on the shoulder bar? Mate, you go in too tough in the air. They say you're going over the man. You're giving. I was getting penalized when I was playing. I was getting penalized for. Winning the ball in the air, yeah. Imagine now, it's <laughs> like, crazy. Oh like that, and that's what and I'm I go up like, like that. So they want me to go up like that, and I couldn't the, play. The physicality like, has completely gone out of the game. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, defending was based on a lot of physicality. Of course, like that was a, a lot of the bread and butter for defenders was the physical side of the First game. And nowadays, it's completely been sucked out of that, and it's so micro focused on technical and philosophies yeah. and playing at the back. It's like. I don't know if defending will ever get back to that standard as well. With VAR coming in now as well, oh, it's almost like this robotic ref of, if you've touched him like that yeah. and it says, well, there was contact, yeah. it's, it's given. And, and that's why like, I'm saying the referees, the referee gone. have a, a duty of care to protect the game. Do you know what I mean? Because right now, what they're doing, they're relying, they're going to the, to the VAR box and they're relying on what they see in slow motion. Bruv, like no. anything looks bad in slow motion, Facts. bruv. You play me now, replay this back that and me talking, I look like, I'll look mad. <laughs> mad, mad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it don't look good. Do you no, know what I mean? So when, it, when things are real life and they're going to watch the, that screen, yeah, they've got to take it to consideration. Don't take it for face value. What would, what, what would it look like in, in normal circumstances, facts. do you know what I mean? But that's and that's why the defending now the defenders are scared to even defend. Mm -hmm. So I can't defend I'm, hard I'm like I used to be. Here. I've said it like so many times. You're yeah. running. Look, look, look what was that penalty? Someone had a penalty the other day, and he was running, and, and it just hit his hand. Down. Yeah, he was oh, in the box. Yeah, I think it was Joe Gomez. Joe, yeah. Gomez. Joe Gomez. Yeah, Gomez, yeah. Gomez yeah. I was like, wow. Is this what would? Is this what life has got to? Yeah, man, <laughs> like, like, I could have played like the bro. I walk off the pitch, bro. Like I ain't being mugged like that. You I can't, can't, I can't the thing it. is, uh, what you said there is all with the referees keeping the integrity. Mm. They're, for me, they're, they're almost too following it black and white. They're mm. giving these set of rules and it's like, now use these rules to guide you throughout the game, but use your common sense. Because mm. sometimes, I remember back in the day, if there was an early hard tackle, it was mm. like, 
All right, let's get it's to 10 points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of. Now it's you no, not even allowed that. Get turned off, you're just sent off. <laughs> first five minutes, Usually, usually you get that free tackling first, isn't it? That's yeah. free tackle. First five minutes. Because so what you're about, Bosh. That set the pace. Let him, oh, know. Let him know. Let him know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Kevin Davies and them, man. When was the last time you saw that in a match? In your Western match, you're thinking... At right, first five, he smashed him. Yeah, today. you like, don't see it. You don't see it anymore. You're smashing no one. It's just like, and that was a mental thing. Football's yeah. turning to athletics. It was a physical, but it's turning to mental. Athletics. The psycho of Man. it is the psyche of it. Yeah, was always to get one up on your opponent, innit? Yeah. So yeah, physically, you might be the same as me. Yeah, but who's quicker in the brain? Yeah, am I str- mentally stronger than you? So back then, it was more about the mental facts. Yeah, but now. It's all it's technical, it's all technical technical, technical mm, and exactly. that people are not doing exactly like they're not they have to win in a different battle now. Yeah. Where we was more of our mindset and more robust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So but saying that, like the players are better now, technically. Technically way Would better. Say, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, of course. But do you think that you see the best players of that day? They're way better than the best players of this day. The Wayne Rooney's, the Gerrards, the Lamp, they're way better than Henderson and all these I've men. Got, I've got a thing to say about that. Yes, you're right. Yeah. But the average player. Mm, okay, fair. The average player. The standard is better. The standard's better now. Mm. So they're more closer to being. So they're, 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 see, like, say I was an average player and I, mm-hmm. I played like 10, 15 years in the Premier League. And then the. My average, the average player to, of today is better than me. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I, I mean? Same. So quicker, faster, uh, more techie. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that is what's changed. But yeah, you still have like your your yeah. stars and that, but not as much as you because there was n- now back then you could actually um what would I call it? express yourself. So mm-hmm. you okay, could see. express yourself because actually the game was a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then like you had like. What would I say? What sort of players could we talk about? Akotcha. Look at, look at the players. Akotcha. Like, Zidane's and all these Zidane. Players, yeah. You don't so, have that now. You don't have that personality. Even the Canio, Zola. You don't mm-hmm. have them sort of players anymore. Do you know Mavericks. what I mean? It's got a bit of... um. Who else you got? Bergkamp. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Junola. There's loads. T- Thierry Henry, bro. The, there's loads. Yeah, Thierry Henry, yeah. like even man, like Hasselbank. Mm. That had a sort of persona Peace about them. Do you know what I mean? This is the pack goals with no yeah. backlift. From, from <laughs> <anywhere. laughs> I ain't seen that no more, bro. bro the meme king. The yeah. meme king. So like, what there was more the personalities pro- back then yeah. than what it is today, and that's where we say, yeah, there's more better players back then. But so we, really, so the players it, now are really, really good, bro. So mm. is it then similar to what we've been saying, where it's football's almost becoming more robotic, that's, where it's almost that, like yeah, players it's coming, coming like up FIFA. on conveyor belt, <laughs> literally, yeah, 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 where it's just kind of a prototype of a profile is wanted now. Mm. Like you've got to be a technical centre back. If you're a fullback, you've got to be the flying fullback. Mm. You can't be like kind of one specific style of player if that makes sense yeah. or, or your own kind of expressive Look, way I I am um, obviously I coach at West mm-hmm. Ham and we've got like even it starts from the scouting yeah okay so we've got obviously if you're a scout West Ham's got who they kind of want to come into the club mm-hmm. profile they got a profile sorry Prof- profile so our profile will be different to Spurs' profile yeah. um, or Man United's or Man City's everyone's got their own profile what they want because they've seen what they've got a, a path of where they want to go yeah. to get into the first team. So you always have to create a path. You can't have a profile that doesn't suit your 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 vision as a club. Do you know what I mean? So we'll go and scout for certain certain attributes to to, to, to bring to the club fit mold, to fit yeah. that. Then you get that player. Then you mold that player into that what, what you, you want. want the final product, and then yeah. he has to grow. So that's where it's getting robotic because mm-hmm. you're not getting a player. That's just a good player now. Mm. That player might be really good. You might see him down the park. He might be really good, but it doesn't fit your profile of the club. You know yeah. so that's a good insight. Well. You would never thought, we never no. thought of it from no. that. No, the reason why oh. that's particularly frustrating is because you've coached, like we talk about coaching mm-hmm. and everything as well. The amount of players or ballers that you grew up with that were at teams, but didn't make and whatnot, because by the time it was time to start getting pros and everything, it was like, yeah, you're good, but we've invested in this guy for mm-hmm. seven years and he's been in here and yeah. he fits this mold. Yeah. So like, why does that mean that because everyone's chasing this mold of specific player that the game, especially with you in your situation, that the game is not going to have all of these Mavericks anymore because no. everyone's mold is similar. Like, I like that word Mavericks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like we, if you think about it, everyone is since Guardiola came, everyone yeah. start playing ball at the back and everything. Yeah. Technician, technician. Are mm. we not going to see these players that are just a break of the mold anymore because everyone's trying well, to find this next 
adaptation of the mode. Well, we've got Grealish now. But that's why I love this. That's, what, that's why I love Grealish. Because Gr- Gr- Grealish, I know about Grealish. So I played against him back in, well, when he first broke through his breakthrough season. Mm. And I think Joe Cole was there. And um, up at Villa. And Cole, so I, I spoke to Coley before the game. And he's gone, Coley, man. This boy Grealish is something else. Yeah, like, the Cole stamp is saying he wears that. He's just got, oh. he, and that's that, Coley that's, saying that. Because Cole me, had the hazard stamp as well, so that yeah. stamp is a yeah. But it's an Joe, official stamp. But you got to understand, Joe Cole, he's a baller himself yeah. anyway. Yeah. So for him to say that about game some, a kid that's game coming through, thing, yeah. I was like, hey, what, are you so, what are you sure? <laughs> this guy must be hard. Bro. Like, I, I can't wait to play against him. You know what I mean? Come so anyway, played, and I said, okay, and I understand what he's saying. The way he touches the ball. Even his swag with the socks, he's got mm. big casts in it. So like, <laughs> he has to roll it down like that. So that's that like, for me. That's that like old school, isn't it? Like, yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking this is guys. He's like a throwback. Yeah. yeah and literally. ballers, ballers love that. They love that man. That's like different. Mm-hmm. Thinking, uh, yeah, a this bit guy's reminiscent swag, of a time yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. But, some, but so, to some people that might be looked at as cocky. That's why like, they hack him yeah. all the time. He's always getting. That, I remember there was there was one game where I saw highlights of where he was just getting. I think it was his debut. I think it was his debut. Butchered. Life out of man. It was like a welcome to the men's game. Yeah. <laughs> this hair and calf shit ain't gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the like... thing about it, yeah, he's got that. But it's because he hold on, he held he held onto the ball too long back yeah. then. Mm. Yeah, it was but now like he's learning to it, just pop yeah. it off. Yeah. Mm. So he doesn't get he's taking the knocks and bruises now. <laughs> so now he's learning to fast up the game. Yeah. Fast but up his game. But that maturity that you said he's got, I think, came from when he got relegated into the championship. Like yeah. he needed Practice that. Hours to kind of ground him and kind of build that yeah. back up because before that, he was very inconsistent. Yeah. Didn't have that end product. And like we were saying, held on to the ball too long. Mm. Now we can say, yeah, he's become that end product. But you might say you saw it, but yeah. I don't think it was always as visible to say no, it wasn't. he was going to be that kind of top player yeah, that yeah. he is now. Yeah, no, but it wasn't. It wasn't visible. It was visible that he had the potential. Uh, the to potential, be, yeah. But how many people execute on their potential and exactly, some fail though? Exactly. But so it goes back to what you said that people are buying potential these days. So yeah. Then, so yeah, people are buying potential. So look, see that module I just that thing I just said. Yeah. So you, we'll look at attributes and we'll look at it and say, okay, he's got potential to fit all of this because yeah. you can see his attributes from raw. Mm-hmm. So he's going, okay, yeah, it's that build. Okay, and you got to see like uh, even um who is it who is it Arsene Wenger, yeah, he used to look at a player back in the day. So if just if they had long legs, he'd take them. He'd sign them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Diaby. Yeah. They had long legs. Shamak Vieira. <laughs> if you was like thin up here, like not too much here, and your legs, your limbs, so your all of this, yeah. If you had range on your legs, he'd taken you because you're gonna grow into, into your legs, your body, isn't yeah. it? So that's the way he was looking at. I didn't know about all of this mm. until I got into the, See, the, into the system. Like, it didn't work out. It's a no go, though. But we <laughs> <laughs> mean, mean it. We mean no go. <laughs> Like, you, don't, you don't even have to go into it, but I'm sure like all the whole um, the testing and stuff they do on kids now to see what they're gonna. Oh yeah, that's mm. all mad. Yeah, like, I guess in your day it was just if you're good. Yeah, yeah, I think I've done tests, bro. Like, now, they're, now they're testing that... kids to see if they're gonna be like six foot six. What must be this? I heard United. You know, I heard United um, scouts. Had doubts about signing, you know, Delit. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had doubts of scouting because his dad is fat. Yeah, no, what? but that's yeah. what that's what happens like, in the academy. Wait in, wow. the, in his. That's uh, what happens in the because they need testing, do it? So I mean, that's genetics, like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but you do, no, you actually do look it's at all of that. Yeah. You look it's at the parents. You have to look at the parents because yeah, yeah. that gives you a sort insight. of yeah insight a metric into of what, what he might need. Like, and they're giving him, yeah. and they're giving him <laughs> rice and veg or they McDonald's. Yeah, like, what's going on? He's going to be fit on match day. You know what I mean? So if the parents are not there, you are, you say okay. Well, he, look, he looks good, but we got to go look at the parents. Might need to get you into digs so, or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah. you know what I mean. So, but but look, you say all of that. And like, see, right back in my day, why I put I probably made it, and it was easier for me because I was big, tall, strong. Yeah, from when I was in the youth team. So I had an advantage already. Yeah. So, and then there was a mold, there was this um, stereotype back in the day um, that big black guy up front, innit? Like, hold up the ball. Say? Do you know what I mean? BBQ. BBQ. Big, so, black, and quick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> where did you get that from? I can't remember. You dropped it to me yesterday, was it? It's about, innit? Like, it's one of them things where, like, you know, it I always say it's said. pace and power now. Mm. Like, BBQ now it's PMP, was the one that was kind say, of yeah. like, under the table. So that made the papers. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you got it from. Yeah, that's, that's, that's literally yeah. where, yeah. God, even like like you said, you growing up, they looked at you and said, okay, you can play a certain position. If you think about how we, we've we had conversations about Yaya Toure and everything, mm. like people won't give him his praise as actual baller. They'll still focus on oh, his, yeah, physical attributes. his physical attributes. Yeah. Bro, so like, it's, um, no, I used to actually, I actually used to kick ball properly mm. until 
they put me up front and just be the head on a stick. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? No, but talk, when talk I, my me, Chelsea days, yeah. how I'll, did that happen? So, so basically, I, I actually, when I was younger, I played in centre midfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was a, I scored bare goals from centre midfield. I actually got scouted to Chelsea playing centre midfield. No, oh, you know what oh, I mean. Okay. That's how I got in. Yeah. Then I think it was one after one season, um, they just said, "No, nah, I'm gonna try him up front." Yeah, bro. I started knocking in the goals, in it. Mm. Yeah. Like at youth team level, I think I still have the record over there. I feel, or maybe Tammy Abraham's taken it. But before Tammy Abraham, it was me. I'm most goals in a season. Yeah. But they had they have more games now, so they they could get in more like the European Cups and yeah. all that at that, that youth level. But he um, that like, that whole that whole period when I got into to to Chelsea, it was it was like I I'd, I'd obviously played that centre midfield. Then they put me centre back. Then they put me up front. So I had that, a range of knowledge about the game because when mm. you play different positions, it makes you a better player. Yeah. You got more; you're more knowledgeable. When like, you're on football, trust me, if in you're a in this football, football sphere, in your yeah. change room you can, atmosphere, it just yeah, goes over your head. Yeah, there's a language that gets used and it actually goes over your head, but it's actually undermining you and you're actually you're it's, you're, it's being racist. Yeah, mm. do you know what I mean? No, so now I've come to know and realize myself, and I'm lucky I had my brother next to me. That's starting to, to enlighten give you that me. Kind of wake up. And yeah. look, bruv, I'm 30 odd. You know what mm. I mean? I'm still still in that frame frame of mind. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I always try and say um, to pe to these young boys, don't take no. You don't have to take the shit no more. Yeah, yeah. Facts, you know what man. I mean. You don't have to wake up. Your voice we, is much more powerful. Black now people, as well. we're, we're waking up now, and I feel that even the old, the ex pros, yeah, they starting to realize, wow, we have got a voice now. Yeah, so that's why you started to see them coming 100%. out. But people are criticizing the ex pros for coming out only no. now because. Why didn't you come out back then? Yeah. If we came out back then, we would have got victimized because mm. we didn't have a backing. We didn't mm. have social media. We didn't have someone supporting us. Mm. Like if we come out, we look, looked at as a bad egg. 100% yeah. prime example of that. Even when you look back at, was it the Rio and Terry situation mm. uh, where Rio was almost treated like he said, kick it out, aren't doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want nothing to do with these organizations because every time there's an issue or nothing like that, nothing seems to get done about it. And back then it was almost seen like, I look at this one making yeah. noise or whatever it was. Yeah. But on just on that kind of amongst the racism conversation with Anton and the mm. Terry situation, you've obviously played with both. Yeah. What was at that time, what was going through your head when you saw them <laughs> pictures coming out and seeing that? All right, so you I'm must a, have been. Shall I tell you the honest truth? Go on. Yeah. John Terry, yeah. Because at, at, at Chelsea, when I come through, and even in the youth team, he was my boy. Like, I like him. Yeah. Like, he used to look after me. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Even his dad knew my my uncle that used to take me football. Okay. And they got along. Yeah. But what it is, education and understanding and reacting, for him, reacting in certain things. What he went and done, what he went and done was go and state the obvious and use the, the C word with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? And... It surprised me because I hadn't seen that side of him before. Before that, I knew that he's got some other scandals on him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JT, hey, he's hey, different, hey, he's different, different cat, you know, <laughs> different cat. But, I, but also, when I saw it, I was like, because I saw it, I was like, wow. Guess who you phoned? Because I was going to meet Anton. So after the game, I was going to meet Anton. I was actually going to the hotel to meet Ashley Cole. Yeah, I was going to. I was going to meet because we was going to some some someone's birthday party. Okay, so. I've gone, so I've, I'm in the car, I'm at, outside downstairs at Mayfair and I'll get a phone call from JT. <laughs> I'm thinking, because I haven't done, nah, I haven't done, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. finished my match, I'm going to enjoy myself yeah. now, I'm going to go meet my them, yeah. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm with yeah. JT, I ain't heard from this guy for a little while, what are you phoning me for, like, what's going on? It's a West call, yeah. you know? <laughs> so he goes, Colton, I need to, can you, um, I need to I've speak to matching. Anton. He goes, you seen him tonight? And I've got, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm actually, because yeah, yeah. he's going to go to the same gaff I was going to. And I was like, "Whoa, what's up with like?" Cause I, I, I was not the wiser, innit? You just yeah. played your game. So yeah. anyway, I go up. I said, "Ah, right, I'll, I'll phone you when I get upstairs. I'm just gonna go in the lift. Go up in the lift, and um, went to Ashley's room. He opened the door, and then he goes, Coley, Coley, you see what's happened?" And I go, "What? What's yeah. going on?" So I'm, getting a, I'm getting a call from JT. Yeah, and then he has gone, "Yeah, um, QPR played Chelsea today, and apparently." Chelsea, um, JT said some mad shit. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm going, what? What is it? Then it was like, it was like clockwork, bruv. I looked up at the screen in this room, right? 
And I saw, on it, it, was, yeah, and it was everywhere, isn't it? So yeah. I was like, oh, I've only just got privy to this now. Yeah. And I must have had this guy call me. I was thinking, what's <laughs> so going on? Right in the mix of <laughs> all so of it as weird. it's going on. So anyway, I was like, oh man, JT, man, what are you doing? Like, because I just don't, I, I couldn't see him in that light. But it, it happened, didn't it? It's mm-hmm. happened. And then I was like, man, I don't even know him like that. Like, I can't even, I can't even be privy to this. Like, yeah. And then he's got, He's calling me to get in contact because he wants to apologise to Anton. That's yeah. what it was. That's what the call is. He says, you got Anton's number. That's why I gave it to him. I said, well, I didn't even know what was going on. Uh, yeah. So I gave him the number. Obviously, Anton ain't going to have it. I was going to say, mm-hmm. what was Anton? Anton well, I'll was... see him later on. And he's just said, he's a, like, no, yeah, 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 he's done from there. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm done with that, man. Like, mm-hmm. Bang out of order. Man. But then I see Ashley Cole getting murdered as well like because his... Ashley was back in JT, JT yeah. he stood up in court I don't rate it I can't lie Ashley Cole greatest left back whatever but I don't yeah, rate the fact mad. that he went and in defended court. John Terry in court right, against so... your boys Rio's still your boy Anton's yeah. still your boy yeah. and you're a black guy bro just yeah. stay out like if you if you don't right. know just stay out of it put it bro. this way yeah put it this way he's honestly saying <clears throat> and I actually believe him he didn't hear anything because Obi Mikel was there right next to it as well. He didn't get caught. He didn't he didn't hear anything either. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He actually said he didn't hear nothing. Mm. So he had to go and stand up in court and tell the truth. That's all it was. Mm. So look, if you want him to lie, mm. I want him to lie. Do you know you know what you know it's for me? I ain't involved. I don't want to go. I don't want to talk to court. That's the thing. Because at the end of the day, right? Like this happened how many years ago, yeah? And it ties in nicely to the whole Greg Clark thing that happened like this week and everything. Yeah. There's been moments in history in the Premier League where stuff has happened, yeah, and you think, hold on, why did it go down like that? For me, like Cam said, I still feel like in that time, you have to kind of be aware of one, who you are, two, who the media will paint you Mm -hmm. to be, and three, your position to help people in the future. Because what that moment did Mm. is it tainted everything in a bad light. Made it okay. Because what, man didn't get caught, man didn't apologise. So from there, and and I I support Chelsea. Like, he, nothing happened. But if you think, if you flip it, yeah, when it's a black man, when it's Rio's drug testing, oh, yeah, yeah. you're Plus the, dragged in the mud. Rush was getting dragged in the mud the thing for buying houses. Rio, Rio, for me, is a pioneer, man. Like he's he's one of them guys that is like the best person. He started that speaking he's up like, stuff. Yeah, he, he started he's, it and he's 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 created I got mad respect for him, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I was actually disappointed to see Rio and JT, because I know Rio like that and I know JT mm. like that. And uh, to see them Going loggerheads because it was Anton. It's Anton's brother. He's got to back his brother. Oh, yeah. Plus, they they worked the captaincy as well. <laughs> England as well. <laughs> so it was their best bare competition. Obviously, Chelsea, man, you the <laughs> fair competition, bro. Yeah. Like so, it 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 was there, and it, that's actually for an outsider. It's actually entertaining. Do you know yeah. what I mean? If you're just a mutual fan, you don't even care about. Yeah, it. You yeah, think, yeah. oh no, I don't want to see this beef. What's going to mm. happen next? But when it, when you know both of them, and you know them both in depth as well. And I grew up with JT, so it's different. Mm. And I didn't see that side of him, but it is what it is. Like mm. now I know what it is. Do you know what I mean? And mm. I, I was disappointed. So I phoned, I phoned JT. I said, oh, why'd you do that, bro? Like, why? He's like, it's just a moment of madness. I don't know why I've done that. Yeah. And I said, you can't even explain yourself. So just leave it, man. Just, just leave it. And uh, we had to just take it. We just had to take it like that. You know what I don't rate though? The um, thing, Carlton, I, what I don't rate is that you've just basically said, you know, JT said, you know, I don't mm. know why I did it. Everyone know, can see that he did it. Mm. Why have you why not come out and apologized? Spoke about it, yeah. He hasn't apologized to Rio. Oh, and to he Rio. hasn't Rio to That's Rio and Anton. Rio but and he Anton. admitted he'd done it straight away. Do you know that? But then how come the FA, what was the situation with the um, one side found him guilty? I the think other side court of arbitration, I can't remember. So don't misquote me. I think one, because it was two things in it. It was mm. the case. And then so I think one, on one hand, he didn't get nabbed. On the other one, he did. It was... Um, on the flip side with the Suarez thing, Suarez just got nabbed on straight. Mm. But with the JT one, it was very much. But uh, admitting you're doing it, admitting you're I've, doing I've it is come different. Out and admitted it. Yeah, but admitting you're doing it know. is different to actually issuing an apology. I mean, because at the end of the day, the thing that... Rio got painted. Badly. I don't know. What, uh, to be honest, I don't know if he apologized. I, I... Definitely didn't do it publicly. And as black people, not do it publicly. Done nah, and as black people, private. we deserve it from, from me, to Cole, see it publicly. Yeah, that's so the thing. For me, the way I would describe it is: you see what happened this week with Greg Clark, where he did a mazzaline. Yeah. And all of that type of stuff. Yeah. You simply resigning and saying it was a mislip of tongue. For me, that's not enough. Like a slip of tongue and apology. When things like that happen, mm. you have to acknowledge one, like what you did, and two, yeah. your place as 
you're the captain of a country, bro. Mm. You re- represents yeah. many, many different you're things. Right. There's a certain way that things have to be handled. Yeah. And again, I'll flip it to the other side. If it's a black man and anything happens like oh, that in the media yeah. space, I said today, Rashford is getting killed for buying houses for his family, oh, no, for his mad, future. So for me, when I see other people manage to get a blah and stuff like that and for things, it, it infuriates me because it's yeah. that raw. And then I flip it back to what you said. You said back then, Man, them couldn't really talk out and everything. Mm. So not only can can't there was no that, platform. Yeah. Mm. So what, now you got back. social media. So That's changed back. that. So it, look, see, even what you said there, yeah. <clears throat> like it was weird because, like now, man can say what you want to say, innit? Yeah. Like, but then you're kind of gagged. You're kind of gagged because you don't want to bring the club's reputation mm. under, and then you want to be playing as well. You want to you want to grow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So there's loads of things to think about. It's not like a, a Colin Kaepernick thing, like yeah, yeah. where my man, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you ain't got no job yeah, now, bro. Yeah, yeah. You still ain't got no job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I've got to feed my family, fam. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie to you, but that's what well, it was back then. You just got to try and not be the bad egg. And mm-hmm. you knew that if you started talking out and being a pioneer for that sort of, if that's the route you want to go you're down. You're going to be black gonna, sheep. It's going to be Did hard for you. Did them talk yeah. about this though together? Because like, obviously- Of course, like, of course. we got to, listen, there's, now there's actually- the black, the, even the old school black players, and even the young ones, yeah. they all got a community now okay. to help That's each good. other That's and good. talk. Because we never used to talk, bro. I was gonna say because we never used to That's talk. one thing that, again, sometimes when you don't have know the inside, you never know. But it was always rumored that players didn't really like parlay. It was like that every man for themselves, bro. That's what it was. Like it was every man for themselves. You had your little clicks and everything, but now there's got to be unity and I think everyone's realising there's got to be unity and people got to speak out and be and be heard man like mm. I, you got a story for me mm. I, I'm, I'm older than you but you still got a story for me you could teach me something mm. another player so what we what I've doing and what I'm doing as a mentor now I'm getting up the players that I mentor to speak to each other they're yeah. all at different clubs yeah but They've all got knowledge of different ways of coming through the through the channels the of pathways, football. Pathways, yeah. Pathways. Yeah. So why don't you talk to each other? You can so all you learn from to, each other's you experiences. You can all learn yeah. and it makes it easier for you no, to make 100%, it. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you want to do that? Like, yeah. like when I was coming sometimes through, it was every man for themselves. Someone bro. else's mistake before yeah. you can even make that mistake. Exactly. Yourself. Yeah, no. And look, I've made loads of mistakes in my life yeah. and my career. Mm. But I've got a story to tell and I'm telling it now because I d- people deserve to to hear it. I could actually I could go and write a book, yeah. I could go and write a book and I've got some stories, bro. Like proper, I could sell it. But I wouldn't want to do that because I'd rather give it for free. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? My knowledge and my yeah. wisdom that I've created and I'm still learning to this day, mm-hmm. yeah? I would rather give that because that's what people need and that's what, why would you want to sell that and profit from it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's that's not mine. To, it's, it's my experience, but it's not mine to sell. Yeah. 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 Speaking of that back then, that now, you were you were one of those people where you were there for like the original Jose's come to England. Like mm. you, you saw all of that. Yeah. You saw the transformation. I saw, I saw the transition of football. You saw the transformation. saw the car of, park. First time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must you know what you say. What you pulled out everyone's like, ah, you, know, you know when the plane, the plane landed <laughs> in the training ground. Hold on. But one of the things we have, obviously, because... Chelsea, yeah. Spurs, this guy's the he's the driver of the Listen, Jose Way bus. Like Joe he's their front Zay way. He wants him to break <laughs> players. He wants him to fist up the players. <laughs> For you, nah, what ma- was it? Nah, 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 No, 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 no. Let me give my explanation. Go on then, go on then. My thinking behind Jose is I've seen him succeed everywhere he's gone, no matter what. And the common thing you see always is the mentality. Yeah. It's the way he's able to shift a club's mindset from Chelsea's yeah. previous no success to now nah, we're here to take over United winners. Inter never treble winners guess what we're going to win the treble Madrid he went and took down the yeah. Pep's Barca yeah. in the league mm-hmm. broke goals record everywhere he's gone he has this mentality and for me I'm like for the first time in a long time Spurs have a manager who's of that caliber mm-hmm. that for me is the definition of the Jose way that mentality where he comes in shifts it and brings silverware mm-hmm. there's times though where players might not go along with it. For me, I don't like them players. No, them no, players for me, I, I'm like- I know what you're saying. Yeah, exactly like, what you're saying. I, I'm, 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 you the can be a pump. passion merchant, whatever. Yeah, the I don't they're like not, that. They're not, they're not men. Speak but, on it, please. All right, so, From your experience. Because remember, you're a coach yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Let me so talk on this thing. It'll like, be yeah. interesting to see now because it, this is player versus you coaching these kids now. Yeah, so 
All right, so I've been for a journey, mm-hmm. obviously, from, from when I was young. And I was at Chelsea, yeah? And obviously, when I got into the first team, I had Ranieri. So Ranieri was bigging me up. So you're the best young player, yeah, best young player him, yeah. that he's ever coached. Yeah, until Balotelli came round, and then, <laughs> 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 then I heard the same quote again. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, he's not saying nothing." I was like, "Say nothing." I said, like, "No That's problem, mate." Like, all right. So anyway, so like, obviously, I've seen the. So I got it. Obviously, when Ranieri and I went on loan here and there, didn't settle, hmm. and then I came back, and Jose said, "Listen, I want you to stay with me for this season." Um, give you a chance. So I was like, okay. But me, I didn't take that chance because I'm going to explain to you why. Because I was still doing the things of old. So I was still going at clubbing, partying, mm. um, doing things the the way, what I wasn't supposed to do kind of things. Yeah. Like enjoying life because yeah. I've got everything in it. So Yo, pro just made the team. Yeah, mm. I'll do the same. So <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> look I, I admit my faults. I did, I did waste a few good years to progress and those years actually most important because that could those years those years those years can actually make you world class okay just under world class Mm -hmm. or average Mm -hmm. or not make it at all yeah Mm -hmm. so i had that option and i chose to live my life a little bit but do you know what i mean yeah not progress the way i was supposed to like so i'm I'm a libra bro i have to do a bit (laughs) of both you know what i mean there's gotta be a balance in both worlds so so i know myself yeah Yeah. and on hindsight i even know myself better now so what it was when jose come in now um and he told me he wants me to stay i didn't use that period to the best of my ability i didn't go and learn the way i was supposed to and there's one thing that happened, and this will just just show you what Jose's about. We just gone up to I wasn't even in the squad, bruv. Like I weren't in the squad, and it was a Saturday. No, it was a Sunday, but they'd gone and lost up to Liverpool at Anfield, right? And then next day we're coming in because we had Champions League and I think in, in the week in the okay. week we had a weekday. Yeah. So everyone had to come in on Sunday. Some had to train, some had to warm down, whatever. But we had all had a meeting. Mm-hmm. Um, because before we go out to train, we have a meeting of what we're gonna do first and everything. So everyone's yeah. sitting in the meeting. You got drug bar. You got you got um, Makalele there. Gronk, everybody, yeah. big names in the room mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And then I I remember where I was sitting. I was sitting on the end. Like, yeah. I was just looking. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, and I was first in, you know. And then I was like, oh, that's it's not gonna be a good meeting because obviously yeah, we lost. I think it was like four nil as well. Like, okay. So it was a bad one. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, anyway, I'm here to 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 be in the meeting and everything. So he walks in the room, and everyone's sitting down. And the first thing he goes, he looks over to me, <laughs> Coley. Listen, I don't know what to say. You do? Do you want to be a football player? <laughs> Bruv, I was like, rah, what's that, bro? <laughs> I didn't even play in the game. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about yesterday. I mean, are we just going to forget about what happened yesterday? We're just going to my thing. I go, do you want to be a footballer? I was like, what? I just looked at him. <laughs> no, bro, I just wanted the ground to eat me up. Yeah. He goes, what do, you mean? what do you mean? Yeah, of course I do. He's gone, well, doesn't look like it to me. Like, <laughs> With this attitude you have, you're not going to make it. Don't worry about football. Go and uh, go to Tesco's or something like that. Go, <laughs> Yo. go find something else to do because no football is mercy. not for you. Yeah, I was like, rah. But then these times, yeah, I look round to my right because everyone's on my right and shoulder now, and I'm feeling bare heat now. I'm thinking, right, it's getting a bit hot in here. Eyeballs are looking sticky. Yeah, and all the eyeballs are on me. I'm like, <laughs> bro, he actually stood up there, probably coated me for five minutes. Yeah, saying I'm not gonna make it. I'm this. I'm that. I do all the wrong things. This, that, and, that. and I was brutal. like, and then he goes, "All right, brutal. cool. Listen, yesterday was a mishap. Don't worry about it. Let's go out and train. This, that, and the other." Rah. So now, nah, <laughs> but he because he coated me for so long. Yeah. I started to get angry, bro. I was like, hold on a minute. You might just went and lost. What's that got to do with me? Yeah, please. What's that got to do with me? So anyway, I went outside. I was angry, bro. I swear down. Everyone was looking at me these times. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, you lot like, talked about the game. I um, took the hit for you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's dead, bro, you know. I'm not going to agree I was so with angry, angry, yeah. I, I swear down, I probably that was probably the best training session I've ever had in my life. <laughs> there we go. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There we go. So, and he was there watching. I was like, nah. 
But I didn't actually realize what he was doing. Fueling. Mm. He was fueling. Mm. So he was just, all he was doing is testing out his skills. He's just seeing what buttons Seeing works. what buttons works with Carlton. Cause yeah. I've tried this with him. He's not on, cause there's a, there's a good footballer in there for mm. You know what I mean? But something's not happening. I, I feel like I'm failing and it's making me angry. 100%. So obviously he must've been thinking about his whole squad and seeing how Which he can use can I, his yeah. squad mm -hmm. and seeing who he can ramp up. Rely mm -hmm. on. There was another yeah. thing he done. So, we, I think we was playing, um, who was we playing? We were playing like in the cup game, like league cup game. Mm. Okay. And um, like all the regulars, that regulars had a rest rest day. It was a midweek game. Everyone had to rest in it. So what he had to do was try and get everybody else to, to play. Like now he's going to use his squad. What happened now, he's put his whole, he said, the ones are not playing. He's gone to the newspaper and says, the ones are not playing, they are going to start this time this game and then we're going to see what they're made of mm. like if they <laughs> okay. and if they don't do well in this game then that's it. it's you right. know why they don't play yeah. like, yeah, stop complaining that line still. love that stop line. complaining mm. I think he's done it recently yeah, as well yeah, he's done, done it against United us well. so a I, know that. Ago. I, I know that I know that the Europa League game when yeah. we lost it he said, luckily, you understand. luckily I done well in it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I scored I banged two goals Good. you couldn't say nothing to me yeah. so I think that kept me going until the end of the season in that game but what it is, that shows you what sort of mentality he is. Like, he actually plays with your emotion because he's going to told the press, mm. these man them, I don't play them, mm. let's see what they're made of. That's pre and we, I'm reading it in the newspaper, it's on the table in the morning. I'm thinking, right, he's put us under immense pressure, you know, <laughs> we got to win this game yeah. comfortably. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because we don't play regular. Where it, but that's what shows, it shows you what kind of man he is. But when he, and if and you're does, not a man, mm. he ain't got time for you. So mm. you got to be, See, like all these boys. That's, that's why. What I was about to get on. All yeah. these boys. That. All these boys that I call them boys that, that get a bit angry, get a bit touchy mm -hmm. when they, when yeah when they get told certain things and they don't like to like what they hear. Those are the ones that won't thrive under him because look at now. If you look at Dombele now, yeah, perfect example. He was getting he was throwing him under the bus last season. Mm -hmm. Like he was t talking about him, saying, yeah. oh, I don't think he's gonna sell him." And innit? now look at him. Nah, people, exactly. going, on, yeah, people you, are going on like no, 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 is like no, no, flipping, no, no. playing but midweek. Player of the year. No, 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 he's just playing he's better. Now. He's better because he wasn't even playing. Jose before. has more yeah, faith in him. Ben Dombele was, was, was a baller before Jose, no, no. so why are people acting no, like you he look wasn't at, a baller? You look at Dele Alli on the other shoe though. His mentality's changed. Has it? That's the point. He accepts. Yeah, he accepted that he had to. Do something. Adapt. He had to adapt and improve. To but he wasn't doing bad before that. Tell he just what, was injured. Not. I don't think he was doing good last But last, you, last I've time. got a question, right? Yeah. You see, with when you said that, um, you, he said he he draw you out and then you yeah. went out there and delivered, basically, right? Mm -hmm. But when you looked around in your team, yeah, you had John Terry, you had Drogba, you had Makaleli, you had Czech, you had all these players mm -hmm. who are leaders, are men. There's no way that you yourself can basically sulk. They'll tell you, pick your head up and keep going, right? If you have someone... No, no, no. bro. They'll, let you, they'll leave you to your own devices, bro. If you're going to sulk, yeah? Just don't get, don't get but you that's on you, bro. But you're from your the, daddy. No, but what I'm saying, you're from an era where men were basically men. You had, yeah. As you said, robust men were yeah. men, right? Yeah. When you come to an <laughs> era like now, what I'm trying to say is, when you come to an era like now, <laughs> do you think Jose needs to adapt to well, the way now. these guys are. Because what I'm saying I'll, is he I'll come to come United to yeah. and he's gone to some teams and he's gone, I don't rate, I don't, I don't like you, Shaw. I don't like you, Marsha. I don't like you, Pogba. And it didn't work. And yeah. people are saying, oh yeah, but these men are boy. But why don't you adapt? Okay. Why don't you adapt? They, they, they still, still stink, you know, by the was way. always um, adapting. The, the top manager, adapt, yeah. Pep, adapt. Yeah. Why doesn't Josie adapt? On top okay. of that is now, he has now. you said about young players. Well, after, you, after like what, four he has now. He has now, he has now. So I'll tell you why. I know he's only just done it. That's why he's going to be successful now. Fez. The reason why he's adapted now, yeah, is because even he, my man's on social media now, yeah. <laughs> see yeah. him. He yeah, started, see him. Could you see yeah. what he said? With the popcorn. <laughs> no, no, you see what he said when he was on the plane? He said, uh, he, he, he said, uh, he, no, he took a picture of um, the players in the, oh, in the, the changing room. room. Yeah. He goes, just won a game. Yeah. And this is what this what the, they're doing. This yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. So it shows you now he's changing. He's aware. Because he, now he's aware that Listen, straight after a game, social media straight away, boom, boom, boom. Don't worry, it's nothing personal. He used to take these things personal. That's yeah. what I was been trying to say for the longest. He used to take these things personal it's... and he didn't. Now he understands it's nothing personal, Jose. I don't, I still respect you, innit? But, mm -hmm. but man's got, I've, I've got my own ticket. You know what I mean? We didn't have these things back in the day. So 
when did, after the game, we talked to each other. So mm. how do you think that game? How are we going to improve next time? Mm. We used to do that. But now, man, they're talking on his phone. I think I played well today. This yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Like, Hold on a minute. I'm the manager. I'll tell you if you play well enough. Like, yeah. we'll go again. No, whoa. Well, I'll tell you if you're going again. <laughs> you tell me we're going again. I might not play you next week, mate. You know what I mean? Like, so you got to understand, that's football now. So he's adapting. And now, because he's using social media, he's starting to, he's probably following all of them, mm -hmm. see what they're up to. Knows what they're up to. Knows what they're on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he, he'll adapt. He had, <laughs> you he had to adapt. Because he realised that he had to adapt for Man United. And that was yeah. a good lesson for him. Yeah, Man United was definitely a good really, lesson. But yeah. then... I don't feel like them players as well were right in kind of how they reacted. Because a lot of the times when he was criticizing them, it was work rate related for me. That was the issue for me. It was rarely well, about still, still their the social same, media <laughs> activities. It was rarely it's about the, their tweets. It's still it was, the same though. It's still the same. Their work now. rate is not enough. 100%. And that's enough. the thing for me. It's when, when a manager questions your work rate, that shouldn't be a reason to salt for me. That should be the bare minimum. It's, as a it professional. Should be, but it ain't nowadays, bro. Like, that's and, what I was going to ask you in terms of now, because you're coaching these young players that like, is it because of the society they're growing up in that means that they're not like how you were when you were coming through is, is there like a clear difference in the mentality of a footballer now yeah of course yeah like bro we used to play down like we got a place that I used to play it's called the pit or the cages like we used to play down there and like play like street football and all that sort of stuff now mm. these boys are coming into the academies at eight years old yeah they mm. ain't had no time to even grow like on the streets no yeah, street yeah, yeah. so no they're mm, already Charleston. being, they're already pampered. Yeah. yeah. Just out of pampers. Yeah, <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like they're already from pampers. They're going straight, getting pampered again if they're any good. Do you mm. know what I mean? So the they've not had no time to, um, to even get street whites. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So they are kids still until, and they're going to be kids until, that's why I'm very impressed with Marcus Rashford. Mm. because he's got but it depends what your unit and your support system around what you've got around you because they will expose you to certain things yeah. in a controlled mm. manner mm -hmm. do you know what I mean and and or if you're if their parents are strict at home or whatever but mm. some of these boys what I've seen some of their parents are not um, they're not there for them like yeah. they're not disciplined or they're, yeah. they're young as well some of these, these parents so mm -hmm. they're they're not seeing they're not having, they haven't got a good discipline, uh, was it discipline in the area? I wouldn't yeah, yeah. discipline in the area and around them. <laughs> yeah. But they haven't got that structure around them to know how to react in certain situations, mm -hmm. which will help them and guide them when they get older in the game. Because yeah. they haven't had that structure from young. So when they're throwing their toys out the pram when they're older and they can't get in the team or they're, they're looking at certain things and, 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 and like fucking it off kind mm. of thing, yeah? they're just not mature and they don't have a good structure around them to show them any better. Yeah. So that's when Jose comes in now <laughs> and he's having it a go at you seems, yeah. and you can't, and you can't and handle you. it. Yeah. Oh, you throw your, your toys out of the pram, then you're going to, you're going to mess yourself up. Yeah. hundred percent. I also and think like when you look at today's, obviously because there's social media and all that type of things, very as, as, as bad as it can be on social media, like you can get criticized and mm -hmm. stuff. The other way around is, Honestly, you could be a 17 year old player, haven't even made your debut for the club, mm, people and you've got you you've got fan pages, yeah. you've got stand pages, you've on got YouTube. people, their their Twitter name is your name, yeah, and yeah. like you picking you up and telling games. you how good you are. So when you've got someone that comes in and says you're not that good, yeah, you're gonna go all the way left. Your, you're gonna your talk your brain, agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna. Uh, so just, I wanna get out of here, yeah, yeah. especially yeah. if, like you said, they ain't been given that foundation to be the able foundation. To that. And and with social media being such a like a new, not new thing, but such a thing that the the youth get so sucked it's into. Part of life well. for them, hundred percent. Part of For life. them, it's the be all and end all. It's and the it Bible. Can them. Yeah. yeah, it's the Fact. Bible, bro. Like, they wake it's up like, first thing in the morning, slide that open. Yeah, I'm the same now. I've got sucked into. I bought into the culture. I'm the same. We're all there. I was one. We're all there. I was one of the first footballers to be on social media, bro. Like, our, our Twitter, yeah? yeah? You had to find, you got to find. Oh, bro, I've been, been fine fine twice, better, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, one of the one of the comments that was funny. One you of the said something about. You said something about. I don't know about. You said something about. Actually, it, it, my joke. It wasn't actually. Or something. It wasn't even. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> God, it wasn't tell actually us, my joke. It wasn't my joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kojo. Remember Kojo, the comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah it's his yeah, joke. Cool people, yeah, he's my he's my boy in it. So. He said this joke. Oh god, that's bloody funny. I like that. So I'm going to tweet it. Yeah, and I'm thinking that. I've only got the black community around me, like, because yeah. I was actually at home. I was, I was injured. I wasn't in the squad, yeah. so I was injured. I was like, "Rah, that would be a funny tweet, right?" <laughs> yeah? Like, don't go to the stadium, Guardians, please, because you know I'm half Nigerian, yeah, 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 and half Sierra Leonean, yeah. So, and my cousin's Guardian, and Kojo's Guardian as well, yeah, yeah. But we always had, you know, the 
You know the intonation rivalry. is always going. But white people wouldn't understand that. Yeah. So what happened was. I've, I put out this tweet. It wasn't even actually my joke. It's Kojo's, as I said. <laughs> Saying it's a trap. Don't go there. Mm. There's immigrations. As soon as you come out of the <laughs> Wembley Stadium, immigrations will deport you. It's a trap. The movie trap. Don't go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, that, yeah. Slept to you, young Someone, family. I don't know who complained, but, but people complained. Mm. And they didn't get it. And they just, I said, so I got a phone call in the morning saying, oh, Coley, what did you say last night? I was like, what? And then I went, but I said, oh, I just said a joke, innit? He goes, well, that joke, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to cost you. It's no, gonna... it's not even going to cost you. You might get like a five, six game ban. Rah, so I was like, rah. rah. <laughs> You're just going to ban me from football. Yeah. For yeah, a tweet, yeah. a joke tweet. This is Twitter in the early days as well. Yeah, when, early like, days. It wasn't yeah. the, the swear. platform yeah. it is right. now. I said, now every company's got a Twitter platform. Yeah. Back yeah. then it weren't like that. It was just like a scene as a, a of, do know how plating on the side. Do you know how bad it is now, yeah? So, and I'm I'm actually peed off about this, yeah? Because... I got another fine. Oh, someone tried at you, innit? Yeah, someone added me, said, oh, it'll be some, said something like, oh, it'll be so, sometimes it'll be good for you to run, run mm. on, the, on the pitch sometimes, yeah? <laughs> and we just lost, yeah? So I was like, ah, oh, man, I've got a save side in. So what I'd done, I was smart with it. Yeah? Yeah. I said, so F, yeah? Yeah. Asterix, 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 yeah? yeah? Off, yeah? C, yeah. asterix, asterix, yeah. asterix, yeah? So fuck off you cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I said that, yeah, but they I didn't say I that. didn't I you didn't, didn't actually, actually write it. Write it. It was yeah. asterisk that like, no. <laughs> bruv, the next day same thing again. Yeah. They went nuts. So, listen, you gotta go you gotta go to the um to the board. PR. So yeah. I had to go to flipping Wembley again and just gotta sit in front of these what, the, the worst the thing about it, these people are like they're old, old white, yeah, it's an yeah, old white board, yeah. And they're the ones that are saying to you this and the other. They don't know nothing about the culture. Yeah, yeah. They know nothing about social media at the time. Yeah. So both times I got fined 20 grand, innit? Yeah. Fuck. But I, they was going to try and ban me for like five, six games. So I, I said, All right, I'll take the hit because the, the club needed me to play. Yeah. So yeah. It, I had to take the hit, innit? But this is what I'm trying to say. Now, nah, when I'm looking at the social media now, I'm seeing players swear left, right, and centre. Yeah. Bruv, I want my money back. Yeah. <laughs> I want my money back, you know, man. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Cruz and Aubameyang just... getting in the back and Going forth, back and forth. You know the other day. Like, it's like, it's nuts it's nowadays. It's nuts now. So it doesn't, look, that's how football's got now. And like, that's the way we're going with it. Like social media is a massive presence in football and you just got to accept it now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? No. But back then, bruv, I had to pay. I had to pay some money for it to get to some, this stage. Some <laughs> <laughs> set you up, boy. On, oh, yeah. to <laughs> fail, to <laughs> fail, bruv. See, because because you do the coaching at that level as well. Is there anything for like like a liaison or something like that who guides players about how to handle their social media oh, yeah. and things like Straight that? Straight away, like, as soon as you come in. So you got as soon as you sign, you get you get this like leaflet, pamphlet, yeah. whatever, and then it gives you the rules of the club. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So straight away so the social media is added into that now so they, there's an etiquette of what you're supposed to do and, and how you uh, portray that yourself that plays even more into the robotic thing though yeah because now you're kind of being told this what, is what how, you what can tweet say, out yeah. this is what you can put out once you've been doing that for like 10 12 years of careful, your career man. you're almost programmed like that yeah you gotta be careful though because like people will use some of your quotes against you not now but later on mm -hmm. like i've got some of them some of them some quotes i've done like 10 years ago with twitter Coming out now. Nah. That's what you know happened what I mean? to Andre Gray. Like when he started going, he had tweets about Bro, homophobic, homophobic stuff. Yeah. And then he got banned. Banned. How many you years? Change, you change your mindset, like, man. He, like, he was on the roads them days. He was fast. even a pro. Fast. He wasn't even a pro, fam. Like, like, he had other issues to deal with. <laughs> Trust me, fam. Facts. No, 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 this, bro. Trust Come me. Bro. Come on, man. Trust me. But if you're on the roads, you shouldn't actually be on Twitter. I don't think anyway. You're probably doing something like towards You have to have a front. You got to make sure that you know. <laughs> but you mentioned um, Nigerian Sierra Leone. It's all mad because oh. in trying to play for England, that's what led you to do your transfer, right? Oh, what? For Nigeria? No, in terms of like, you know when you, you'd made your transfer to Are you trying to duck Ham? the 4-4? Four four? Uh, Let's touch on that. No, we're going to go to play for... Because you wanted to play for England. You yeah. wanted to get game time in it. And that's part of the reason why you left Chelsea initially, right? So, yes. So basically what happened with um, that scenario, it was... Yeah. Chelsea didn't want me to go, by the way. I forced it, yeah? Because mm. everyone said, oh, yeah. I, I remember when I used to jog up and down the line for when I was on the bench at West Ham. <laughs> Chelsea reject, Chelsea reject. <laughs> I'm like, if you lot knew, I wasn't rejected. <laughs> yeah. Like, they wanted me to stay. I was just about to go on loan because um, I was about to sign for Spurs. 
Yeah, mm. this is a story, right? So I done my medical. Phone. I done my medical, um, and because I, I I was allowed, they said I was allowed to look for clubs. So obviously, my agent was pushing it, pushing it. So Spurs come up. It was uh, Martin Yo, because okay. he liked me from hey. time. Don't forget so, where you guys came from, bruv. Martin Yo's the OG. Yeah. Real OG Martin <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I remember him. Cap, 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 Cap Ryan, man. Cap Ryan, yeah. Real kits. Yeah. The yeah. navy yeah. blue. Hey, yeah. listen. Yeah. That's yeah. when I was in school as well. Like. So, <laughs> you old. so he goes He goes to me, he goes, oh, so you want to sign me? So I was like, oh, Martin Yo, I like him as well. Mm. Spoke to him at depth, in depth and yes, told me his plans and everything. I was like, oh, I'll come down there, innit? So I went and done my medical and then... um. What happened was I got a phone call afterwards because I actually failed my medical. So yeah. they had to get in contact with the club. Why do you, why do you fail it? Because of my knee, which oh, okay. I got a bad knee. So, since I, this is when I, I found out. I you were going to night out a second. No, yeah. no, no. This is where I found out about my knee. Oh, I had a chondral okay. defect in it from 20. Oh. So I was 21 at the time, 21, 22. Yeah. I had a hole in my, there's a hole in there. I've still got it. I've never had an operation. I had to play on with it. Yeah. And it's got deteriorated. It's gone. But that's another story. So. I've, I had this thing, so I found out. It goes, so they had to phone the club to get my medical records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the club found out about it, but the the um, they didn't know that I was gonna go Spurs. Okay. So it the this the news got to Roman Abramovich, and, and he said, nah. he's got his his um, right hand man to phone me, and says, <laughs> "What are you doing?" You're not going. Where you, where you going? That one, an English that's, number. Isn't that's KGB. No, no, that one, an English, English number. That's KGB. That's KGB. Right there. That's zero, got, zero, so two. he goes. He goes. Listen, make your way to the stadium now. Right. So I had to drive across London yeah. <laughs> to the stadium. He's going. Um, Carl, listen. First and foremost, I don't do. I don't. He didn't. He wasn't speaking like this. But yeah. he's got his interpreter because he 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 actually can understand English, mm -hmm. yeah. but, but he, he just, couldn't talk it yeah, fluently. It's more intimidating. So he had the interpreter next to yeah. him and he had the next guy next to him that he, he's still still there now. And he said, um, look, we don't do business with Spurs. Yeah? Bang on the yacht, love that. We don't do business Straight. with Spurs. And I've Straight, gone, even though he nearly oh. bought us. Straight. I was That's like, what do you mean? Like, he goes, first and foremost, we don't, we haven't sanctioned for you to go anywhere yet. Yeah. <laughs> and then now you go to my Demba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 And we yeah. like you still. Yeah. Yeah. What we want for you is, I want to send you to, you know, he's got another team in Russia. CSK Moscow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. wait, when they send you yeah. <laughs> So you want them to send me to Russia, fam? Damn. So I'm thinking, right, I've got. La I've, la mercy. I'm definitely not going to get in that England team. And I said, there's no, there's no things out there still. I, gonna, I, said, I said, I'm definitely not going to get into that England team, yeah? Yeah. If I'm going them zones. <laughs> and I'm going to ah. get abuse, yeah? Yeah, fam. It'll be different. I'm not built like that, yeah? So <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let's see, let's see the other yeah, yeah, options. Yeah. Please, like, please don't send me there. Like, and let's, can we, can we work something out? Because I need to play now because I can't come and do this another season. I don't want to go on loan again. It's mm -hmm. long. So please, can I, can I get, we get something? So he said, all right, cool. For your future, we'll talk to other clubs. So then obviously I said, do you know what? Tomorrow, because I was flying out to Sierra Leone. So I said, tomorrow I'm going to Sierra Leone. Let me, so I told my agent, let me know if anything comes up. So, but me and Abramovich, we left it cool. It was fine. He said, I can go, but I'd really like to go on loan. But if you want to really, really go, then we'll sanction it. We'll open yeah. it yeah. for you. You know what I mean? That's when um, Alan Pardew rang me. Do you know what I mean? And then that's how I got the phone call. When I come off the plane, Alan Pardew was waiting in the waiting at the airport, okay. taking me to the hotel. I didn't even get home. I had to <laughs> sign there in the in the boardroom. So that shows you, yeah. So like I was I wasn't supposed to leave Chelsea. Yeah, it's just that yeah. I wanted to go and get game time. Mm. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And on top of that, when I when I started when I when I was um, where was I? I was well, I was at West Ham at the time. I was gonna try to change my allegiances. Yeah, to, I to, remember this to coming Nigeria. Yeah. So I got picked in the Nigerian squad. I didn't know you mm. heard it. So I went to the Nigerian squad. It was in Heathrow over oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, man, everyone was in Kanu Akocha. Yeah, everyone yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. Even um, yeah, Obi was yeah, there. Yeah, couple yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. couple man was there in it. So I was like, I could do, I could do you this. Can like, enjoy this. this. So as I walk in, I've got my bags and everything, and um, they they said, oh, we've had a slight problem. <laughs> I was like, what? Because I was in the words. squad, didn't it? But yeah. I was named in the squad. England's called up and said, you can't be a part of it. Yeah, I'm right. like, what? It's like, oh, mate. What can I do? <laughs> you can't change allegiances against the, the law. It's against and had you rules. had already a cap by then? That was under 21. No, caps, no I was under 21 Before days. they changed the rules. Because oh, they changed the rules after, wasn't it? They changed the rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Shook. the year I'd gone and played, <sighs> the year um, after I played for England, they changed the rules. rules yeah. So that's what happened. Mm. And if you could ever... Sw swap those seven caps 
to mm. play for the chance to play for Nigeria, would you have done it that's at that hard, time? That, that's a hard question because when you're growing up, yeah, in this country, mm-hmm. you want to be one of the best players in this country, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like from when you're playing on the streets, yeah, like you're always in your head, you're thinking, I want to be one of the best in this country, isn't mm-hmm. it? So every player that that's from the hood over here or the wherever you want to call it from the streets and then they go and they've got aspirations to only play for England. You're not really thinking about back home where your mum comes from. You're not really, it depends what sort of background you're from. Yeah, if they're really right. um, patriotic, do you know what I mean? And yeah. got a lot yeah. of influence on you. But mo- usually the parents will say, oh, if you, play, you was born here, so you play for, your, for, for the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't have that influence. But there's some parents that now have started to realise are actually urging their sons from an early age to seen it more and more now, go yeah. Nigeria, go Ghana, go, yeah. Yeah. go your, to your, your home, home country. Because yeah. now, because they've seen the way football has turned out mm-hmm. over here. So they're thinking, you know what? We've seen a lot of cases where they only use you once or twice and then you don't play again. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So now, if we're, in hindsight, I could have played for England more, but I held myself back again because yeah. mm-hmm. I've got a self-destruct button, bro. Like, <laughs> see me? Yeah. I've, I, you, what you see, I'm a quite truthful guy. I'm quite open. But what you see with, with me is you would hear things about me. Some of them mostly not true. But some of them are true, bruv. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some of them are true. You know what I mean? So I didn't help myself in, in doing light, more yeah. in my career as a whole anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I picked and chose my times when I wanted to be serious and when I wasn't. Yeah. And that's why I, I always say to people, um, just try and be the best you can be, innit? Facts. Don't try and cheat yourself. So, mm. But when I went and played, when I was at, well, playing for England, I did want to play more, obviously. But I've got like, the, what have I got? I've got some like crazy... Uh, I know the record. Still. I got some stupid record, bro. Like most, most appearances that... without a start. Yeah, sat in that down seven year. appearances. Yeah, most yeah, appearances, yeah. appearances yeah. without start. You would have gone World Cup, you know. I almost did, but I always get injured at the wrong yeah. time. Yeah. Like, because I was, I was. Look, I got seven caps, right? Yeah. But I had a lot of. Um, I was in a lot of squads that mm. just didn't play. Yeah. So I think I was in the squads for like four, four to six years. No, four years, four, five mm. solid years. But just I was not getting, getting that camp. I wasn't come getting the come on, yeah. I was a trading player, bro. No, no, man, that's just the vibes. <laughs> man, that's staying up the cones. I was the vibes, man. Like, <laughs> man. Like, so no, no, no. Club DJ in there. Yeah, yeah. Resident You know what I mean? I was the man that was just like, I was the starter, innit? I said, I went the main course. But just that. But I used to see. um. Like, so I saw Bobby Zamora come in. Straight first squad, mm, start. start. yeah. He was in New Jersey as well, hating. didn't he? Yeah, no, New Jersey was before me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, then you had, um, oh, man, who was it? Stole a goal Boothroyd. on the line. Huh? Boothroyd. And Boothroyd. 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 Didn't Davis have one random call, call up as well? The Kevin Davies. Yeah, 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 that Kevin, one. yeah he had one as well. All these men there, they come in, and there was this there. Yeah. I'm there thinking, oh, is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Oh, Capello, you're, you're a hard piece of work, yeah. man. You're a nasty piece of work. <laughs> what, you, these men had won a couple good games and then I've been here all this time and you're not playing me. Like, Let me start, man. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it was with me. That was my mine and um, England's relationship. Nah, when you played crazy, for man. England, like, who would... So obviously you played with you played with Rooney, you yeah. played with all their men. Like, yeah. who's the best play, person at England that you played with? Like, who's the best player? Like, that, when you were there, who was the player that you were like, Different level. Steven Gerrard, man. For real. Bruv. That's the standout Ger- one. I was Frank, just Frank, say. Frank Lampard, obviously, he scores goals and mm. everything. I think I rate him as a footballer. But Steven Gerrard is a is a baller, bruv. Like, mm. Proper. Like, Gerrard's better than Lampard? Uh, listen, see, people compare the two, yeah? Mm. I don't think you can. Because like, they were different players. I thought um, Gerrard was more of a... Um, box to box. Box to box player yeah. mm. where Lamps would kind of like be on them or attacking, attacking mid, yeah. mid yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, it would be hard to compare those two, but Gerard was a baller, mm. left foot, right foot. Rio Stra- and Terry. Rio and Terry. Depends, depends what you want. They could play together. Like that's like, yeah, they, they, like they see well, like when I look at football and I say who's better than who, I don't mm. actually look at it like that. Mm. I'll, I'll look at who compliments that person yeah, to get the yeah. best out of a person. Those that's like, that's my manager. Other, definitely, that's yeah. my coaching vibe now. Like, cause look, I could I could straight compare myself to Emil Heskey. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Okay, and I'll say Emil Heskey's better than me. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because what he's done in his life and his career. Mm-hmm. So I haven't reached his level, obviously, because of, of as I said, I should have done better because yeah, of yeah. distractions. And then like, but then you look at who do you look at? 
um, who could you compare Rooney to? You can't compare. Yeah, Rooney, Rooney is one of a kind. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He's yeah. one of a kind. So you can't say who's better than who's a better striker, Rooney or Harry Kane. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to compare them to because Harry Kane's a goal getter. Yeah, Relax. but Rooney he's just like. But that's you. That you know, that's I mean? you with your. Yeah. That's you with your coaching hat on. So I'm imagine about, you're in a barber shop right now, chilling like yeah. how you are with us right now, you and you ask Gerard or Lampard. You have a blank. Blank. You're the manager now. It's blank yeah, sheet. Pick, you got to pick one. You have one. to pick one player. Oh, boy. Yeah, Lampard or Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> Who you taking? That's bag out of order. Barber shop. Yeah, the they're both, they're both my mates, man. I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a social yeah, yeah. media, you know. So <laughs> good. See how we try to navigate it. around the question? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Lampard, didn't it? Right, yeah, hey, yeah, for real. Been, I gotta go. Lampard. I gotta stay loyal to my man. Yeah, then, man. Fair, but no, if that's no, what you're enough. gonna put me in the spot to do, I have gotta say that. But Same. I'll say Gerard. No, I I just like Gerard, didn't it? Like mm, a player, mm. and like that's where I, I've got mad respect for him. But I just see them two as different, different players. players. That's yeah. why did I can't you, compare them. Did you see them becoming managers at that time? Yeah, of course. Like Lampard, definitely. You seen? You seen? Definitely. It, yeah, in the change room, man. You can see the change room. Before Terry. Uh, well, yeah, I thought, Terry's I thought, the assistant. Terry's the assistant. Lampard's, yeah. Lampard's yeah, but, the manager. I would have always thought it would have been the other way around. Yeah, Lampard yeah. maybe is, is the assistant and Terry's yeah, the manager. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I just know that Lamps is from. He's so educated. He's very intelligent. He's a very intelligent Smart, person. So you can when you, when you're in a change room and you talk about football to him, he's got he, he enlightens you with a different trail of thought about what how to look at the game and how. What he does, like he's this sort of player. See, Lance, yeah, this is a, this is sort of how smart he is as a f- footballer. Yeah, like that's why he got bang, he bang bare goals. So if you're up, if you're playing up front, yeah, and you're saying rah, and you wanna, you're you're trying to beat the offside trap, and you want him to squeeze you a ball to to, to feed you to get yeah. you a goal. What he'll do, he'll let you go, but then he'll leave the ball behind you, so you have to come back. Yeah. yeah, and mm. then you've got no choice to come back. Then you have to set it back to him. Then and he'll come he around. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he got his goal. Yeah. He's got bare goals like that. Hey, that man, I set it up. That's that. Like, so I want it behind you. That's that Mo Salah. That's that Mo Salah. You know, that's, 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 you know. that's what he does. So that's the Bobby. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's football intelligence in the game to yeah, get the best out of himself and using your players around you to get the best out of you. IQ is important. IQ is different, bro. So people don't know these sort of things yet. That goes on in the game. It's very techy in the game as well. And this is why I say. Football's different now, like as you said, it's more robotic and yeah. all of this stuff. But some people back in the day, they used to use these little tactics to get break the code, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Bef- Bef- before we back. um go into like quick fire questions, we know you got a lot coming up. So like, what's what's happening with you? What's dropping soon? Oh, so look, see, when I was playing, um, I had, a, I had some bad advisors around me. Not gonna lie, like not just saying bad advisors, I bl- I blame myself a lot more than to saying bad advisors because it was me that allowed it to happen. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I wasn't, Can't and agree. I'm like kind of a happy go Larry guy. I I believe in like people, are, everyone's like me. Do you know what I mean? Like I've got a clean heart. No one's going to do anything to you to, you know what I mean? I treat the person next to me like how, like I treat myself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But people are different. <clears throat> people are different. And um, I just put trust in so many people that I shouldn't have done it, to given them tr- trust to. And yeah. when you look at it, so now what I've done, when I quit football, I was like, do you know what? Because I didn't get, I don't feel I got looked after the way I, I should have done. Let me try and give back to these. So I don't want anyone to go through what I went through. And on top of that, let me give the right advice and don't do what I did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I got lucky. I actually got lucky and to still have a, quite a good a quite a good career, career at the end yeah. of it but I could have done a lot more so yeah. I want people to fulfill their potential yeah and if I could be a help to that so that's why I, after my career me, me, my boy was going to come still Mikey my partner and I got another guy called shout Sam shout out Mikey man yeah shout out Mikey and Sam yeah so we got together we knocked a they sorted out a whole lot after my career I had a whole leap of madness bro like I didn't know where certain things were so they sorted everything kind of cleaned it for me and um, so I knew I could trust these lot with my name to go into places and and use it to build up something what we're doing now. So we they started up a sports sports agency. I'm the mentor for it. Okay. You know what I mean? So we've got got about twenty five players now. That's Do you know what I mean. Sick. Sick. And um, I just mentor these players and I just make sure that they're on the right frame of travel. We watch their games. We try and build them as footballers as well and their personality. So we're mentoring them properly so yeah. they they can see like what we was talking about. 
some of these kids nowadays are coming up into the game. They, have, they don't really have role models. Yeah. Like that, that, I'll say role models, but someone close to them that they can that touch. That they can relate to. And they, yeah. they give them a phone call. Yeah. And that's why I rate Andy Cole. Because when I was when I was messing up on the pitch, Andy Cole was here in madness. Yeah. And he tried to reach out to me when I was playing. Sure. Do you know what so, I mean? So, I've heard a lot so about so Andy Cole. Big up Andy Cole. Yeah, but he does, he's like quietly supports people. He's stuff yeah. in the background, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, And he don't want nothing for it. Like, mm, he just does see, it he but I, I, I talked to him on Talk Sport the other day. He phoned in because his, his, his books come out. Yeah. So, go cop that. Um, I don't even know. That. That's hard to yeah, say. Just, look for it. Yeah, so go look for it. Andy Cole's new thing. I, I forgot what it's called now. Mm, but um, he, he actually reached out to me to support me. To say, listen, you need someone around you. Just give you the right trailer fort because you're a good player, but you're you're fucking up. Mm. So that's what I've taken that, and I've remembered that all this all these years now. I'm trying to give back. So that's why you see I'll be promoting on my Instagram, whatever, mm. about this after sports consultancy because that's what we're we're promoting. We're promoting just good health, live good, mental health. We we focus on everything, mm. financial everything, financial backing, what, like, because sometimes the pet, they come from broken homes. Mm-hmm. We've got to be yeah. able to f- f- um, support them financially. We do mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's hard. But we've got to, tr- it, we don't just throw money away. Yeah, we, of it has to, we've got to look at the whole thing and see if you really, really need it because mm-hmm. it's got to be authentic. A lot of agencies, what they're doing, they're just buying players here and there and then they're hedging their bets along. They've got about 100 players. Like buying about stocks at some point. Literally. Yeah, so that's how they're doing mm, it. And they yeah. don't really care. They don't really care about these kids. Yeah. And I was in that as well when these agents, these big agencies, they don't really, they didn't care about it. As soon as you're, you're not, just a number to as soon as you're them. not doing it, yeah. they won't look it. into why you're else. not doing it. Yeah. They won't try and help you off the field or won't try and help you on the field. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're doing everything. We're doing all of that. Do you know what I mean? So that's why that's I think it's important, yeah, that we take that philosophy and just spread it out and tell yeah. everybody, listen, this is what we're doing. Exactly. And if it can, if that, if an, if you want to start an agency now, mm-hmm. I'd, I'd expect you to do that same thing. Like yeah. it shouldn't be about money. Yeah. It should be about the, the helping the player. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not about hedging your bets and, yeah. oh, we're going to make money on this kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the kid's got to be good. Yeah. We're not just going to pick every kid. We've got to, the, the kid has to have good potential to make it to the top. But, but that will come when you put but, the kids in the best yeah, position. Yeah, so we've got to put them in a, they, yeah. it's the, they have to have the right um, Tools. environment. Right, 100% and, the, the right environment to grow. Yeah. Once yeah. everything is set and then you've got the right advice and you're getting the right um, people that are talking to you with experience, then they should it make, they should make clearer, it, man. Yeah. How about this, the podcast that's coming as well? Talk oh, to us about that. Oh, my podcast. Yeah, oh yeah. no, I've already got the part. That's already run. Come so on, the podcast is um, <laughs> it was just a little a little thing that me, Marlon Harewood, and hey, uh, shout out Harewood, man. He, yeah. he shows us Hairwood. love as well. Yeah, isn't yeah. There's been some funny stories yeah, about yeah, Harewood. Yeah. Harewood shows yeah. us love still. He's my guy, man. Um, and uh, me, Harewood, and um, Chris Skull. So okay. Chris Skull it was Chris Skull's idea, and um, he's like, he's like top, top, top boy, man. Like, yeah. he's lo- such a lovely fella, and um, mm. he go, <laughs> he said like. He put us together one day. We went to Shoreditch House. He goes, listen, I think we could actually do something here and give back your experiences. And and I was like, okay, cool. And it was in lockdown at the time. Mm-hmm. So we started it before lockdown. Then we went into lockdown and we started going for it and started getting all these guests in. Yeah. Obviously through my phone book and that. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we got a few good guests on there. I went, man. Yeah, I went for Zola. I said, I want to get Zola on here. Yeah, yeah. I, went for, I got him, man. Like, it yeah, was wicked. So he come and show my love and that. But um, we talk about various different stuff. We talk about their career from coming up in the youth and how they made it. Because yeah. that's what we want to try and portray. What I, my philosophy anyway in my life, mm. I want to show different people's ways of making it. Everyone's path is the Has same, the isn't same it? Same yeah, yeah. like, path, yeah. Look, see like you, you might want to make it in something in we, we want to do, but yeah. you'll see your brethren made it before you. Yeah, yeah. But in that a doesn't mean- different way. That, yeah. yeah, but you could do it in a different way. It doesn't yeah. have to be in the same way. Fair Everything yeah. is different. Like. I made it in my own way. I actually done more than I expected with what the, the madness I was doing anyway off the field, yeah. but I still done it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. everyone hasn't got the same way of making it in mm. anything in life. And that's what we're trying to, that's what we're trying to do, man. No, make sure you guys go and listen to the pod, man. Quick fire then before we come out of here then. So we already spoke about best player you played with at international level, but who's the best player you played with at club level? Ooh. That's a techie one. Because you've had yeah, a couple. You've yeah, had some boys. Rob Drogba and all them men there. Well, for me, I was... <laughs> Zola? 
Yeah, Zola for me, man. Yeah, I mean. Zola. Hey. Yeah. Well, it's the Zola. Chelsea fans forget got, about him, innit? They, bro, they, 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 we were, bro, we, were, we were struggling, bro. We were struggling. Bro. Aye, bro. That must be real. Really struggling. That was someone that you ended up, you played with and played under as well. So yeah. for you, that must have been surreal. Who would you say the best player you played against was in your whole yeah. career? That's a good one. Like, because we were the talking best, about defending. Best player. Yeah. Best player you played against. Oh, like defending wise. Let's go yeah. defender let's, then go in general yeah. because we said that the level of defending has, has decreased. So let's say the best defender you played against and then the best player that you just played against in general. <laughs> All right, so this is a. This oh, is who a bit... gave you the most stress? Because stress, sometimes, yeah. Because I was gonna say sometimes when... it's not the best. Yeah, some like, people will just say the, the best player, Who's that yeah. defender that you that... were like, I can't beat him today. I got to play him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch him. this guy up in the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> who got underneath your collar as a defender? I see this question. Yeah, it's weird because I struggled against every defender, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It was hard work, bro. It was hard work, man. I heard um, the other day, who was it? He said it was Sky Sports, and uh, he said it again on Talk Sport the other day. Carragher, he named me of one of the hardest players he's played against. Do you know what I mean? But I don't realize, yeah, to be fair, I understand where he's coming from, but you do have, there's certain players that you do find it difficult with. But I felt everybody was really good at their jobs back yeah. then because it was hard, bro, to break some down these defenses. And, and when not, because obviously I'm big in it, so don't get their biggest man on me. Mm. Like, and it's a proper fight, bro. It's like a duel. And there's things <laughs> that you see. Chris you, Samba and them, man. Right. Yeah, hey, like, you, you, no tell joke, you know, hey. There's, 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 there's <laughs> things that Ramble happen. and Boom song? There's Bam. things, yeah, <laughs> like, there's things that happen that you don't see off the ball yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see, when you're in the frame, like you're watching the ball, because the, the, the camera follows the ball when you're watching yeah, the yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Bruh, there's another wall going on. Let's go like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. As I said, the psychological thing, it's like, it's it's different. But when you look at the whole thing, I, I thought um, Ivanovic was quite hard to play against. Underrated. Yeah. Oh, underrated. Ivanovic was underrated. hard to play against. Um, yeah, I was yeah. quite scared of, um, like I played, I only played against him once, but he opened my eyes to defending. Um, and it was just a friendly. We were, Chelsea, we went over to, to Italy and we played Lazio, the mm. friendly, yeah? And we played against Yap Stam. Yeah. Another bruh, underrated legend. Bro, yeah. let me Big tell you something, yeah? Legend. I, was, I come on, yeah? I was like, rah. And I, I just, all I remember, I still etched in my mind now, yeah? And this guy <laughs> was said big. said you nightmares. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's it got that like, kind of face. It was like, well, bro, he was like, bro, he's got that he bold, bold yeah. and his eyes are like piercing Big, yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. And then I all and I was looking at him like that, and all I saw and there was a vein, <laughs> the yeah. little goatee, bro. And the goatee, I was like, menace. Oh, this is a, this is <laughs> this guy <laughs> is going to munch me. Bruh. Let me go on that side of the picture. <laughs> Like, I don't know That's what those smoke, do. like, hey, like listen. just looking at that guy, he was just like, big. That's and he was like, I was like, nah, 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 I'm going over there. Yeah, yeah. Nah. That's, but, that's um, long. So. But, yeah, but there's been there's been so many defenders, like, playing against Rio, it's mm. a different way of playing because what he does, he anticipates. Ball, yeah. So you got to be a, sharp. You gotta be sharp, yeah. Because yeah. he didn't get really, he didn't get into the physical battle, yeah, really. Rio Cause, Rio Rio. And he was a big player, yeah, big but he Rio. wasn't really physical. Yeah, And he and had the pace to recover as well, if anything. Yeah. And I'll say John Terry, but John Terry, because I'd played against him for so long, mm. you kind of knew how. I to, knew how to play against yeah, him, so yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. A, so he'd always get someone else to come and mark me, yeah. like uh, whoever Carvalho, Carvalho whoever, yeah. whoever it was at the time. Um, but nah. uh, there's loads, there's loads. No, that's, with that's the, a good answer. Because um, you said the player as well, yeah, so the best player, opposition yeah. in general. Like yeah. who's that player that like, you stepped on the same pitch as them and you this were like, different yeah, class, like, different this is the best player I've ever uh, played against. Cool. Because I'm thinking uh, about David the era Silver, that you bruv. Came David, David Silver, bruv. Yeah. David That's Silver. Okay, go into that. All right, so when you play against Man City, yeah, yeah. you just can't get near them, yeah? <laughs> like, Chase you're just shadows. doing chases. You're doing doggies for yeah. no reason. But you just know when you're going up to Man City, you're not going to touch the ball get as a striker. Rest, right? yeah, like, yeah. And you're trying to press them. It's just like, they're just knocking around, doing triangles around you. Yeah. It's just like mad. So, <laughs> but the main catalyst for that system was it's David him. Silver. Yeah. Cause he just floated the bat. What did I tell them? He just wherever he went, he just created triangles everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he just made angles, Thank so you me. can't get near them. So mm. he was one of them. Um, 
Obviously, with Cristiano Ronaldo, but even the young one was mad. Like the young they Cristiano Ronaldo. They forget about the flair. They forget about the flair. I remember I was playing against him. The, the against spaghetti Charlton, hair. Bruv. Oh, yeah. bruv, he was mad. Like, <laughs> oh, mate. I remember he ran one lick for the West. I was playing for Charlton on loan. He ran, yeah. He got the ball from the uh, edge of the box. And he had, there's about three men, four men in yeah, front of him. Just skimmed him, innit? He just, well, he just took the ball and just kept on going all the <laughs> yeah. way to the bottom. He, he missed. But, bro, I was like, what kind yeah. of machine back is then, this? Back then, he, he could do everything. What but is this? Right, right, yeah, yeah, Every yeah. once in a while, he'd chip in with a goal, but he yeah. had but the dribble. That's a cheat code smash. then, because when man can just go from one left to the other, and you're just thinking like, bro, so what? The bulls are going to keep yeah, yeah. happening now. No, this, it was crazy. What do you think? You see, you just said that David Silva, right? You see with me, we've been talking about how the game is a bit robotic yeah. and stuff. And I think a massive benefit beneficiary of that is Kevin De Bruyne, right? Yeah. I think he plays the most robotic football you ever see in your life. And but it's effect it's effective, that's fair. In this game, yeah. But you know you have players like Gerard and that for me, he doesn't come close to them type of players. No. But who do you think is better, Kevin De Bruyne or David Silva? Because everyone now is pointing to Kevin De Bruyne, but I'm like, they forget about how good David Silva is. David David um De Silva, I think he changed like the the um pers- not the perspective, should I say the the, the, the approach want, the yeah. approach of how, how Man City play. He was a very he was a massive catalyst in that. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like when they started winning stuff, he was like. Bro, the guy you couldn't get near the him. He came, him and a he was like a ghost mm-hmm. on the pitch. He was actually a ghost, like <laughs> you know them cheat codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the way he used to float around the pitch and then just Can't pick up, him. you couldn't, you couldn't get near. It was like one, two touch and then gone. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't like skills. It's just where he used a- to pick up the ball, yeah. efficient, and then you'd place a good ball in and then they'd score. But yeah, I'd say you can say yeah, Kevin. Kevin I love Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne. In this day and age, he's like. He's sick. Yeah, he's the top at the moment. Yeah. Top, top. But I would say David Silva for me is is better. No, thank you. That's, 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 that's nobody. I'm just putting the question out there. I don't, like, I don't like to. I don't like to compare. To compare. But goal scoring wise, the Bruyne because yeah. he's he's different. Isn't yeah, it? Like, he could score from outside the box. But I couldn't say one. does the Silva's not that sort of player. No, he's not. He's mm. more of a link up man. Yeah, mm. and it depends what sort of it's like. Like football's all about perspective, man. Like mm. how you like the game. It's yeah, about your yeah, personality. Yeah. How do you? What do you like to see in a player? So. Everyone's gonna always have opinions, different opinions, but it doesn't matter because they're still good players. They're still top players. Top yeah, top players. So mm. that's why I don't like when people kind of compare players because it's unless it's not a, if it's not a, if it's a carbon copy of the same yeah, player, yeah. and they do the same job, then I can't compare a player to a, a different skill set. Mm. Uh, yeah. Boom. Last two. Last two. Um, who's a player right now that you think needs more recognition? Like people are like not respecting their talent level. Grealish would have been one. No, before, no, he's not everyone, anymore. People everyone's, realize everyone's, everyone's he's surface level. Yeah, yeah. He's surface level. He's come who's up. Yeah, he's yeah, head's yeah, up. Yeah. His head's above yeah, yeah. above the water. Who's one player now that you think like why is this guy not getting the, the respect, the accolade he deserves? Hmm, interesting one. That that's a good question actually. Let me think about that. Who, who I got? I've, I've, yeah. I've, no, I'm trying to think myself. I'm trying to think myself. <laughs> who I rate that no one actually rates. That's a tough question. Where'd you get that one from? What do you mean? I get that one? Uh, yeah, it's a good like, question, I but know. I have to think. I have to revisit that. Uh, man. Whilst, whilst you're thinking about one, who do yeah. you reckon's winning the league with all with everything that's going on and how things are right now? That's a good one too. At the moment, because at the, at the start of the season, I said, um, I said Man City at mm. the start of the season. Reason Ooh. why? Reason why I said what? Man City it was because. Um, I just thought it was going to come better this season because they just saw Liverpool just. Ran it, the way they ran away with it. Yeah. Like they'll just go, they, they'll go back to the drawing board and think, do you know what? We got disgraced last season. Mm. <laughs> disgraced. City yeah. drawing board is 500 million though, but we moved. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but nice I said, I said Man City, but now when I've seen the games, yeah. yeah boy. It's peaking. It? Spurs are looking up there now, you know. Mm. Oh, the eyes are Tuck perfect. Tuck I don't Tuck see where this Tuck Spurs club me. is. Like, Spurs good, are looking, Tuck they're looking, me. they're looking like they're up there at the moment. Why is Liverpool, Liverpool, Chelsea. Look, the way, the way, this is the thing about Liverpool, right? They've got a system, yeah? It's a well-oiled machine, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like proper German, German old machine. So is it mm. done? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. So what it is, when you when he picks his players, he picks players to put into the positions. Yeah, he's not just picking players mm-hmm. like buying players. He like he's a proper coach. Yeah, man. so they'll always be patterned, that. Yeah. They'll always be patterned now because yeah. as long as he's coach and manager, he's gonna they're gonna be patterned. Everyone so knows they're always gonna be a threat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's out of Liverpool and Spurs at the moment, and That's Man City if they get what they need in. 
I respect that. I don't know. You had to think about the other question. About the one player that is... That question is a bit too difficult. No, it's a difficult I've got one, a question. Though. I've got a question. That's yeah. like a difficult question. I want to ask about for your insight us, as well. Yeah. For us, well, obviously, like, we, 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 we do a podcast and we do all this type of stuff and none of us have played at the level, pro level or mm. whatever. What is, as an ex-footballer or when you were playing, um, what do you think about people that didn't play the game but have an opinion on your game or whatever? Are you offended by it? Because... We say our opinion. People be like, "You never even played football. You don't know what you're talking about." Mm, blah, blah, blah. Mm. As a as a footballer, when somebody speaks, like if you saw somebody speak like, that hasn't played the game, they say, "I can't call. He's not that good." Da, da, da. Are you offended? Are you or do you? How just can think, I be offended when like, some of the best coaches in the world never played? That's that's it. You know what I mean? Tell them. You know what I mean, brother? Facts. Like, everyone's got opinion on the game and the way they want to look at the game. Yeah. Because like, you didn't play the game, don't mean you can't, bruv. <laughs> You can't, they can't do that, man. I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, so everyone, do you think a football football's is, a yeah. people, it's a people sport, man. Like everyone could have an opinion. Yes, I could have better insight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, could, I may have better insight, but I would never, I'd never judge someone saying, oh, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. I'll know what I'm doing. If I know what my job on the pitch is and it's not happening, and then you actually, you, you say it and I, you say something and say, you're not doing this, but I know the reason why I'm not doing it, mm -hmm. then I could I could advise you or I could um, school you why I'm not doing it, but yeah. to cover everybody in a whole and say that their opinion don't count, I don't. I think it's unfair. Dumb. That's what I mean. It's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I think Listen, it's unfair. On that bombshell, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see you Appreciate again soon. You, that is yeah. another episode of Stoppage Hand love, TV. Man. Make love, sure you're love, subscribed. Man. Make sure your notifications are switched on, and we're out.